We've had a lot of great athletes who have joined us. Uh, and uh, we're joined by uh, one right now in the field of sports, the coach of the 9-3 and three yes. Yes. Detroit yes. Lions, yes. Dan Campbell. Right. right, coach. Yeah. Woo. Hello, yeah. Dan. Hello. How are you doing? Oh. Doing good, Dan. Thank you for taking a couple minutes. I know how busy you are uh, during this time of year, and we really appreciate your uh, helping us out. We've been here since six, o- six o'clock this morning. Uh, we'll be here till nine o'clock, and uh, we're trying to, you know, break our all-time record. And we need so- that coffee order, Dan, for you to get us going for the next eight hours. That's what do right. you do in the morning, and what, what do we got to do? Give it to. I'm writing it down as you speak right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, it's for a good cause. I know that. Yeah. How much coffee do you, do you take first thing in the morning to get going? Uh, uh, well, I, I drink two of the big large cups with two shots of espresso in each one of those. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, two there you go. oh my God. <laughs> right. oh, I, knew, espresso. I knew it was Italian. And, and, and what time in the day is that? Uh, well, that'll be 5.30 in the morning, uh, usually. Wow. Um, and that gets me going. And then, and then I take a little breather and then about 10 o'clock I'll get a, another cup. Um, and then, and then I hold off till about three or four in the afternoon after practice. So you keep coffee awake at that point. Wow. Um, yeah. I just want to see like the difference between when you wake up and when you swallow the two large cups and the two espresso. Does your body just jerk into some kind of, you know, suddenly you're, you're six inches taller? Well, believe it or not, I kind of feel like I, I'm immune to it now. I still drink it. I don't really know if it does anything or not. I, yeah. I don't feel yeah. the effects like I used to. So That's the danger of it. You know, you just have to keep drinking more. You know, pretty soon you're up to 37 shots yeah. of espresso and you saying to yourself, I don't understand why it's not working. <laughs> uh, by the way, just so that you keep track of your competition, I know you're not thinking about the playoffs at this point yet, playoffs. but Matthew Stafford was on with us this morning, and uh, he was on from L.A. at 5.50 in the morning, his time, already in the Rams facility, uh, fully awake, and it looked like he was ready to start throwing. And I'm going, you know, how, what, do, what time do football players go to bed? <laughs> They're at these places at that early. So he's up early thinking about, you know, I might have to come back to Detroit to play a playoff game. So just giving you some heads up. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I don't, that doesn't surprise me one bit, knowing him. Yeah. Everybody's a hard worker. You have um, – you've done an amazing thing, uh, Dan, uh, in, in, in not just in 9-3. and three, That speaks for itself. What you've done is create a culture – that not only seems to have permeated your locker room, but has permeated the town, you know. And 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 I would say, as someone who's been covering the Lions since before, while you played, before you played, and even before you dreamed of playing, um, <laughs> to turn around a culture in a town and get fans to believe in what they're seeing, uh, that's pretty pretty remarkable. Uh, I, I know I don't know if you take time to to because you did play here and you know what that same old Lions mentality thing was and all that. Do you ever take time to consider the kind of big rock that you put pushed up a hill uh, to get people to start thinking, you know what, we can have a winning football team in this town? Uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if I think that in depth about it, um, but I know this. It was one of the one of the things that drew me to to take this job and to want to coach this this team. I mean. Um, is to kind of get where we're at right now and beyond, obviously. I mean, we're, we, we still haven't done anything. It looks good. We're, we're, you know, we're getting better. Um, but I, I think that was what this was about is this was a, man, this is an area, this community, this is a city that um, you could just feel it. They, they're dying to support uh, the Detroit Lions. And if you could ever give them something to um, grab hold of and feel like they're a part of, and it is a winner, um, and you can you can have a lot of pride in this area, um, and so you know that always kind of motivated me. And I and then for our players and coaches, man, to be a part of something special like that. I mean, it's been thirty years uh, and, and more since there's been a division championship, since you won a playoff game. We got a chance to do something really special here that honestly a lot of other teams have done. Um, you know, some of these teams do have a legacy. We don't. And uh, I want to build a legacy. I think everybody that's here that's involved, from Brad to myself, certainly Sheila, that's what it's about. And we want the community to feel like they're a part of it, you know, when it flips. Yeah, yeah. well, the community does. And, I, I you know, I've, I've covered when the Pistons were bad and then they got really good and then they won. I've covered the Red Wings when they were bad and then they got really good and then they won. There's a sweet spot on the curve 
you right before the wave starts to crest, I think surfers kind of know this, when you can just get into that thing where everything seems to just be rolling, the attitude is great, nobody's gotten a big head yet because they haven't won it yet, but they can smell that it's coming, you know? I, it feels to me that that's exactly where this team is. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, I absolutely know what you're talking about. And uh, I do feel I do feel like we are riding the wave up to the top. And uh, and we're not there yet, but I, I feel like we're, we're, we are getting the feel of that. We're starting to figure some things out. We understand what it's going to take. Uh, there's nothing easy about it. But, um, but I, I do like where we're at, Mitch. Catch a wave and you just well, might win the Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we like where you're at too, uh, Dan. And uh, um, now we have a tradition here. Uh, John Pizzarelli, I don't know how much time you have for music or anything like that, but it's John quick. Pizzarelli is a world class uh, jazz guitar player and singer who uh, every year, because he's been friends with me for a long time, stops his gigging around the world, comes in and sits with us all day long and composes small little musical thank yous to guests who have uh, come in. And uh, so he's got a little something for you. So uh, John Pizzarelli, hopefully okay. you can hear this. Take it away, John. Motor City Dan's got the team upright. Got the Lions ready for a really big fight. Everybody's talking about the silver and blue. Motor City Dan's while they do what they do. MCTC. <laughs> MCTC. Motor City Dan's got a Super Bowl in nine tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. That could be your new ringtone, Dan. <laughs> I appreciate that, John. Yeah. Uh, listen, I want to thank you for taking time. I know how busy you are. Uh, we we have uh, auction items here that help us raise a lot of money. As we're, last year, we raised $1.8 million in a day, which was our all-time record. We're trying to shoot to break that. I'm, I don't mean to put you on the spot. And it's certainly okay if you can't do it, but I'm wondering, would it be possible at your convenience to organize, if, if we could have two people, father and son or whatever, who might come sometime during a practice or something and just get to shake your hand for five minutes. And uh, there are people who just would pay to just have their picture taken with Dan Campbell, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. If it was at a mutually convenient time, do you think we could arrange that and auction that off? You absolutely can do that, Mitch. Thank you, Dan. That's kind of you. We'll do it. We'll let you know when we work it out. And hey, uh, coach. You thank you so much. Yeah. Nope. And it doesn't have to be now. Okay. No, no. I got it. All yeah. good. It, Absolutely. Off season, pre post season, pre season. It might have to be at a Starbucks the way you put that coffee. <laughs> yeah. it, can be, it can be online at a Starbucks. Okay. In between the, the fourth the and fifth shot of espresso. Shot of espresso. <laughs> Just bathroom. a quick handshake and a photo, but I know it would help us raise money. You're a great Absolutely. guy, and we really appreciate you doing it, Dan. Thanks so much for coming on. Dan Campbell, yeah. coach of the Thank Lions. You. Right. How about that, man?